July 1st. And one of the greatest things about summer on Long Island is the Jones Beach Concert Series. But how much do you know about the theater? News 12's Danielle Campbell has this story of the Long Island architect involved in today's Long Island Hidden Past. I think there was a lot of pressure to get it done. My grandmother would say he would work through the night many times. This is the story of my grandfather and the Jones Beach Theater. It was 1930 and Robert Moses, perhaps the single most powerful man in New York State, was moving full steam ahead with his public parks project. His crown jewel, Jones Beach State Park, was near completion. And it was this man, Charles Salvatore Amarino, an architect from Babylon, that was helping to make it happen. He was a part of the team of architects that did the Jones Beach Water Tower in 1930. Billy Lamont, an artist from Babylon, never met his grandfather. But throughout his childhood, he was mesmerized by the stories of his grandfather's legacy. In 1950, Moses made Amarino the senior architect for one of Long Island's most beloved and unique venues, the Jones Beach Marine Theater. Yes, there's my grandfather's initials here, and you can see this is the stage area in the backstage. My grandmother tells a story that they went to the Radio City Music Hall, and he was looking at the seating there and figuring out how he was going to do it. He just wanted it to be just something magical. And magical it was. The theater considered an architectural feat, included a revolving stage and this tunnel under Zach's Bay. They would have floating gondolas on the water. Guy Lombardo would arrive on his boat. Lamont's grandfather passed four years after the theater opened. But before that, many a night was spent dining and dancing under the stars with the stars. Danielle Campbell, News 12, Long Island.